we're going to open up with Mike Singer. Hey, Michael, we've become so accustomed to seeing these kind of games from Nicola. Uh, was there anything noteworthy or special in your opinion about, about what he did tonight and particularly in that third quarter? You know, it was, uh, obviously he took over. I think he showed once again uh, on the road against a very good team uh, why he is an MVP candidate, in my eyes, uh, the front runner for the MVP. Uh, he continues to put his team on his back. Uh, we're nine and one now without Jamal Murray, Monte Morris, Will Barton. And that's what great players do. Uh, the one thing I noticed is I ran him that whole third quarter and how fast he looked. And those that have been in Denver for six years, how many times have we ever used fast and Nicola in the same sentence? But he looked like he had a burst on the perimeter, attacking off the dribble, getting to the cup, finishing. Uh, and that's a credit to his conditioning. He's out there where every night after the game, he's got Steve Miller band uh, playing right now and he works his butt off. And that's why you like to see good things happen to guys like that, because he's a true embodiment of our culture, work, selfless trust. And uh, I'm just thankful that he's wearing a Nuggets uniform. Matt Moore. Michael, you're down so much firepower and you keep finding these ways to win. And a lot of it is how good the defense has been. Um, how much of it is the fact that you're able with the personnel that you have, you can play so many different styles. Like a lot of teams in the regular season, they play one scheme, they don't vary things up and you guys are able to do a lot of different things. Does that help, especially in big games like this? Yeah. Well, I, I think your initial point, Matt, is really important. Uh, we are winning games and, uh, the offense hasn't been pretty, you know, let's be honest. But the defense has almost been like a top five defense as of late. Um, and to hold that team, I mean, the amount of talent that the Clippers have, to hold them to 104 points on 43 from the field is tremendous. Um, the first five minutes of the game, I thought, you know, they didn't miss. So I was like, this could be a long night. But I give our guys credit. We called that quick timeout, regrouped, got defense into the game, and that was – really the main reason we're able to pull out the win. Uh, you talk about the versatility that we have. Yes, we have different coverages for that starting group. We go to our bench and you can employ different coverage, a little bit more, a lot more options with that group. Um, but I think our guys understand that uh, the reason that we're winning and playing at such a high level is because the defense has been you know, a, a top five in the NBA. And when you're doing that, you're gonna give yourselves a chance every night. Brandon Crystal. Hey, Coach, I've got uh, two for you. The first, this game down the stretch seemed a little similar to Wednesday, but is it a different animal because of the opponent and, and like you said, the firepower the Clippers have? Um, help me out. When, I, mean, I don't know. Wednesday, they, Pelicans. But, sorry, the, the Pelicans with the way that. Yeah, there was definitely some of that. You know, um, I think Michael drove, jumped in the air, tried to make a play, turnover. Faku followed that up, same thing. As a coach, you know, that's a cardinal sin. You never want to jump in the air to try and make a play. And we did that back to back. Um, but we eventually were able to make enough plays, both offensively and defensively, to pull it out. So, um, and they're a good team. I mean, obviously, this was an important game because of the tiebreaker. Uh, this is an important game because we want to continue to play well. I believe this win moved us slightly into the third place in the Western Conference with eight games to go. But, um, yeah, we, we can definitely be a little bit cleaner down the stretch in terms of valuing the ball and making sure we execute. I do think the biggest possession was uh, we posted up Nicola. We knew they were going to double, spaced the floor correctly, and Faku made a huge corner three, uh, which was a, a really important moment. Ryan Blackburn. Coach, you've mentioned the difficulty that the offense has had to go through over the course of these last few how many tough shot makers have you been around that, that kind of like Nicola and Michael that, that just make some of these absurd shots that with contests in their eye and it just doesn't matter to them? Yeah, I, I think obviously both Michael and Nicola are elite offensive talents. Um, you know, Nicola goes to his patented, you know, one, one foot fadeaway step back shot. Uh, Michael can raise up and shoot over people. He can shoot with a hand in his face. Uh, he seems to always be shooting into a big basket. Uh, for him to go 10 of 16 and 4 of 7 from 3 with Kawhi Leonard on him the whole night, and I thought Michael made some really good basketball plays as well 
where when he didn't have the shot, he made the right read to get off of it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's definitely uh, great to have two guys that can make tough shots because that's what you're going to need to win close games, to win big games. Somebody's got to step up and have the courage and balls to make a big shot. We'll go back to Brandon Cristal. This is your second question, right? Yeah, uh, Coach, I'm just curious uh... – <laughs> How different is this Clippers team when you add Rondo and, and Boogie to the mix? Well, it's, uh, it's really funny. So at halftime, I go out and DeMarcus came over. Obviously, I coached DeMarcus in Sacramento. Uh, still stay in touch with him. I will always love him. Big fan of uh, DeMarcus Cousins. And he didn't play at all in the first half. And we were talking about that. And I told him, I said, hey, I'm just glad that you're not playing tonight because I know how talented he is. I know he can change a game in a hurry. Uh, so what he did in the second half was not surprising to me because I know the type of talent that DeMarcus is. And when you can add a multiple-time world championship, Rajon Rondo, whose IQ is off the charts, uh, he came up with a big steal late in the game to give them another possession. Um, th those are two great additions to an already very talented team. Ashley Neville. Hey, Coach, I know you mentioned that big corner three uh, by Faku, and I feel like just a couple of plays before, I, I believe he turned the ball over, but he was able to come up big with that shot. What can you say about him not being afraid of those big moments and maybe some of the things that you've seen from him as he's grown um, over the course of this season? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, that's who Faku is. I mean, and he's he has long been that, Ashley. I mean, all the Faku Composo fans down in Cordoba and all of Argentina know that uh, he's never afraid of the moment. He has represented his country at a high level, world championships, Olympic games. He has gone over to Europe and played in the ACB and the Euro League, been involved with many big games and has made big plays before. So this is just another opportunity for Faku to showcase his resiliency, his toughness, and uh, the belief he has in himself. And he, he can go from turning the ball over, and he's his own biggest critic, he came over and goes, Coach, I'm sorry about the turnovers. I said, Falcon, you just made the biggest three-pointer of the night. It's okay. Obviously, we're, we're going to pull this one out. Uh, so it's great when you have a guy like that. I mean, Falcon's toughness, both mentally and physically, is off the charts. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Coach. Hey, all right, before we sign off, no one asked me, so I got to make sure I give – I thought P.J. Dozier tonight was outstanding. And if you can look at the stat sheet, you know, I'm not talking about offensively. Paul George is an all-league type player, and not one player guards a guy like that by himself. But to hold Paul George tonight to 5 of 21 from the field, uh, I thought P.J.'s defense, being locked in, being disciplined was a big part of that. So I want to make sure I give P.J. a shout-out. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.